Even before the NHL, there was this team, the Canadians, and they continue their tradition in Montreal. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchak, I'm Mike Emmerich. The people behind us have paid the price of admission to watch a lot of things in a hockey game, but one thrilling part of it is scoring goals. And we have a guy that's done it the best. Not easy to score goals, Doc. And when he's on the ice, you better be aware because he's got the opportunity and the ability to put the puck in the back of the net. Domi's been terrorizing goalies all season long. There isn't a book on it because he's scoring goals in a lot of different ways. Let's look at the starting netminders. Incredibly strong performance with a shutout last time. So he gets the chance to keep that streak going. Barlamov's the other union representative from the goalies for the Avalanche. A single shutout looking for another, or at the least, a victory. Weber's out there for the start. They know he can establish their style early. Colorado's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. Canadians almost predictably won again in their last outing, and they keep the enormous streak intact. A shot! A wonderful shot answered quickly. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Oh, did he ever get matched. Dreads on a mission out there, clearly trying to set the tone physically for his team early in this first period. The tie-up, he needed help, and he got it. Shoots one, terrific pad save. And yet another save, how does he do that? Drives it, wonderful stop. And he holds on and stops playing. Montreal's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. Over three minutes play. Game still waiting for its first goal. The Canadians win that faceoff. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Boy, he really had to battle through to see that screenshot. The Canadians are starting back in the defensive zone. The puck heads to neutral zone. Oh, he'll pay for that. Whistle is blown, and a man with guilt over his face is going to the box. He's calling both, Doc. He's got them both going to the box. The squads are even. Four players aside. And the face-off. The open ice leads to some great scoring chances four on four. You get a defenseman into the rush. If you don't score, the other team's guaranteed a two-on-one going back the other way. Passing one off now to Drew in. Driving in from no man's land. Oh, what a glove he's got there. A one-timer. Great save. He freezes it in the pads for a halt to play. Solid face-off win. Outstanding save with a glove. Snapping a pass to Wilson. Tremendous hit. Weber's not strictly a finesse player. He uses the body to his advantage quite frequently. Montreal setting up an offense from the wing. Big drive. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Price comes into the game off a shutout, and he'd like to continue his fine play with another one tonight. Great shooting lane. What a tremendous hit. I'm not sure if his coach wants him playing like that. Quick wrist shot. Got a piece of it with the glove. Holds on and gets that whistle.
The Canadians win it. Sails it. He hit the crossbar. A strong shot off the crossbar. Some of them bounce down and in, and some like this one go out. Montreal's got that win. Stole that pass away in his own end. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Montreal's coaches have been prodding them to play a more consistent brand of hockey. And while that's been a struggle at times, for the most part, they've been as good as anybody. They continue to put points in the bank even when they don't have their A game doc. As a result, they lead the league in points. All right, Ray, they say on any given night, let's see if the excellence can continue. Puck out of the zone, and so they'll regroup. Tries to get it on net, got the pad on that one. Slides it to the point. Quickly off the stick. Score! Minute after minute piles up on such a long streak. You feel like it's never gonna end, but eventually it does. That one eludes him, and now he's got to start a new streak. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. The Avs win that neutral zone faceoff. Not a hard hit, but a Got it in his own end. In with it now. A slot wrister. Wonderful chance to score, but no. May not have intended it, but it hit it. That's the way to make him pay. Could go left, could go right. He picked the wrong way. That's a big hit, boys. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. You got to think that's a game-changing save there. Just like shootout. That shot came from just six inches. And ring more bells on that one. One and score. And this one is tied. We came into the game, guys, thinking these teams were evenly matched. Now we've played some of this contest. And here we are, back at a stalemate. And they've won the faceoff. By number 92, Jonathan Jordan. Time of the goal. 10 minutes, 37 seconds. Here's a one-timer. Deflected off the blocker. Weber's trying to get out of his own end. That puck belongs to a fan somewhere. That is out of play. Montreal's team leans on him for offensive production. They need him to score on the power play. They need him to score five on five. And he's delivered all season long as he's among the highest points totals in the league. Big collision in open ice. One-time blast. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Twist one. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Skill play by Brendan Gallagher. The F skated up on the side. Oh, my, what a hit. Better tighten up the brain bucket. Not afraid to get physical here tonight. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Carries it on in from center. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. The Canadians have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Colorado's getting the edge for the first time tonight with a power play. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebounds. Price decided to cover. 
Montreal's coaches have to be shaking their head as their player takes another penalty. He leads the league in penalty minutes. Several of them have put their team at a great disadvantage. Critical win of the draw. Takes that pass. Pucks loose, denied by the roadblock. The Canadians skate it up on the side. In the slot, score! And that is number 20. They can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Colorado's got another face-off win. With a shot. Wonderful save. Let's a shot fly. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Time of the goal. 15 minutes. The shoots. Pad save. Petrie skating to neutral zone. Brings it in for an attack. Lifts one. Great glove save. Directing that one to Barry. That was one he'll get the number on by himself. And a save. The Canadians with a neutral zone possession along the way. Looks over his options from the corner. Colorado's got time for only this rush. Shoots. Shot blocked by Olsen. Marvelous save. No time on that one. He's locked in now. Great save. Gains that offensive line. Save there. And he puts the glove on it and stops play. Ulster's courage on display as he gets down to block the shot, sacrificing his body for the good of his club. A little under three minutes to be played here in the first. The Canadians have a one-goal lead. They recently broke the tie. The Avs are looking to make a play out of their own zone. Colorado's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Ah, oh, that's a good quick poke check there. Not on the net. Oh, you miss an opportunity like that. You better not be in a hurry to get back to that bench. Hammers one. Outstanding save. Looking to Wilson. Huge hit in open ice. Open ice hits are hard to execute. If your timing's off just a little bit, you're going to miss them or end up taking a tripping penalty. Scorches one. Chuck that right away. First period over. We began scoreless, and now we're not. Not a big deficit to make up. Just one goal. Willamette's Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willamette's Recycling recycles enough paper to save more than 41 million trees. If you'd like to know more about their services... Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? The Avs are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three- or four-goal deficit. First face-off of period two. He takes that point pass. Dogged determination there by Gallagher. Colorado's marching on halfway up the ring. Puck loose now picked up. Strong play there. Crosses that line. Really solid job done defensively. That takes some of the pressure off when you can use your stick like that. Shoots. Wonderful stop. That was a tougher stop than a look. Trying to relieve some of the pressure. Rifled back down, so time for a player change for the Avalanche. Shot. Oh, a great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. 
And sent down to Wilson. In front! Lockered away! Oh, and a dangerous pass from the goaltender. Should have held on to that one, but he didn't get burned. Pitching this one to Upshaw. Really good cut of the pass. The Canadians control the play at center. Shoots one. What a terrific save. Colorado's goaltender has been outstanding. They're lucky they're still in the game as this is still close. The Canadians have possession through the neutral zone. A shot. Oh, and he's hammered. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. I'd say this game is played out pretty much according to plan. Both teams have been really focused on the defensive side of the puck. There's not much room. It has been pretty physical, and when there are chances, the goalies have been sharp. Save. Laid on to Soderbergh. And he steps across the line. Slot shot. Outstanding point blank save. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. And still another save. What a show. To Soderbergh. Great block. Got to clear it. Montreal's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Fires. That's a great save. Good offensive zone win. That puck came back to neutral ice, and so things will have to regroup. All a part of generating an offense. Little pass off from the goal. Gains the zone from the outside. He hit the crossbar. Puck picked up here. Ran into the defense. He's lost it. Nicely received at the point. Terrific determination by Olsman. Takes that pass at center, see if we can move something. Heaves one. Wonderful stop. Moving it to Johnson. And he's hit again. He'll feel that one tomorrow. That puck hit him on the way to the net. To the point it comes. Not through. Good position in the slot. Score! And the game is even. Well, I guess this game's not going to spread out. That goal ties it. The teams are so evenly matched. gotten this game tied. Let's see what gives here late in the second and all of the third should be fine. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Stolen at center ice. Leads that charge into the zone. Great save. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Petrie's been a really responsible player for his team. He has among the highest plus minuses in the league. But to have that You've got to be able to produce at both ends of the ice. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. And he dumps it in. Terrific determination by Petrie. Pitching it to Domi. Steps in from the neutral zone. Wonderful save. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Good face-off win. With a blast! And a save! Wilson's got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. That's two periods in the books. One more to go, but a rest comes first. And we look at a very impressive shots on goal board after two periods. 25 for the Canadians and 20 for Colorado.
you ready for your walk down memory lane? Then join us for our fan. Underway. Period three. Not it up. But it can't go on this way. Or maybe it will, at least to overtime. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Great job on a cut pass. Takes that pass. Here we go. Perfect wrister. Sticked away. Turned the wrist shot. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Quick wrister. Terrific glove save. Need to get rid of it. Steps across that line. Strong wrister. Save there. Puck is thrown to Landeskog. Watch out. A big hit. He wasn't expecting that contact. He got steamrolled there. Trying to go to Gallagher. Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Great opportunity. Better stop. Let's it go. Got his pad on that one. That's a goaltender's best friend, a defenseman that can use a stick like that. Puts one on. Save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. The Avs need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a stake. Canadians prevail again. Wow, what a glove save. Puck covered, whistle blown. The Canadians see the point streak extend again. An excellent game for them, not just defensively, but offensively as the points continue to come for them on a nightly basis. Good clean win on the draw. Sliced down. Feeds the point. Wonderful stop. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. Barlamov's made several outstanding stops throughout the contest. It's a good thing, too, because he's been by far their best player. Colorado's got a defensive zone win. Good work up front on that hit. Nice job there. Might develop. And the pickup. Now it's directed to Tatar. Left hit rip. And he missed it. He hammered that puck and it just missed. Not through. Shot blocked. That puck struck him in front. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There's an example of getting yourself into the game. It's dumped in. This is a goaltender's puck, and it's played by Price. Rounded again. Is able to move on in. A rocket! Tay! Snapped up that right wing to Landisgaard. Quick shot! Oh, a save there! It's almost like these teams are mirror images of each other. There's no room... Star! Now that they've got the lead, how do they play with it? The Canadians are ahead in this game by one. And the clock shows not that much time to go in the third period. Canadian scores. 
scored by Skates it into the zone. Gathered up again by Shea Weber. Great job on a cut pass. 12 minutes, 30 seconds. Gathered up again by Gabriel Landeskog. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Solid bad save. Pass attempt to Domi. Wonderful wrist shot. Hits the post up high. And there is another big hit. Shot. Great save. Point blank. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. Can start the attack going in the zone. Gathered up again by Johnson. Got it at the point. Flips a wrister. Oh, what a save that was. Can't get a shot on it. Skates it behind the net. To Shaw. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play, and we'll get the penalty. Colorado sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck. It took the legs out from the attacking player. Montreal's power play unit gets their first opportunity of the game, and it comes at a very critical time. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. A huge open ice hit. If you can catch somebody with an open ice hit, you know that you're giving them a real joy. The Canadians arrive at center. In the slot. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. in a ready position and you one time to pass the goalie. Goalies want to shut down the bottom of the net, dare you to beat them up top. He doesn't cover this one and it gets him down low. They've got the draw. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Has it in his own end. Passing one off now to Coach Kanyemi. And he steps across the line. They tried his glove hand, no luck. The Avs lug the puck in center ice. Oh, what a hit that one was. McKinnon's doing everything he can, guys, to get back to the bench after that hit. He was standing. He scores! But maybe it's a high stick. They're going to signal no goal. Maybe they'll go upstairs. Looks like they will. There was no indecision there. The referee waved it off right away, but there is going to be a video review. Colorado's marker is going to count, but after the review, the home crowd is on their feet. They are furious with the decision have done a great job of giving their fans hope. They fought back and cut the lead to just one. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. There he goes. Net empty. Let's take a chance here, they're saying. To Domi. Snapping a pass. Two through in. Montreal's not done with this game tonight, but we're already looking ahead on the schedule. A tough lineup of teams over the next stretch will test these guys physically and mentally. One last risky attempt to get back in this game. You pull the goalie, put an extra man out, and you should win the faceoff or you're in trouble. And that's the end of the game. Two teams battled pretty hard. The Canadians have another win. Their winning streak continues. With that win, Doc, they found themselves with a tidy streak intact. The wins just keep on coming. What a
a terrific game of hockey. Well played by now. Very tired players. A great time. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night all.